Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear brothers and sisters welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to walk you through a step by step procedure on how to apply the dv2025 application because i have received a lot of messages from friends and family uh, requesting that i should do the application for them but unfortunately i am a student i don't have much time to do the application for everybody so i see it to myself that i should record a video uh, to teach everybody on how to do the application by themselves if you are smart uh, the application will not take up to 20 minutes to, for you to be able to finish everything so before we delve into the application process i want us to look at some key things or key documents you need to have before you start the application process the number one document you need to have is your international passport you need to have an international passport before you go through this uh, application process because when you are applying you write your names so the names that you write should match the names that is in your international passport so if you didn't have a, a international passport and you write the names and when you do the passport later there are differences you will be answering questions when you went to when you are fortunate to be among the winners and you go to, for interview you will ask some questions so the second document you need to have is your passport picture size with a white background i have explained a lot about, about this uh, picture and I, I have made a video about it you can go and check it on my uh, channel the third document we need to have is a marriage certificate for those who are married but if you are single uh, this one is not important you don't need a marriage certificate number three document is your academic qualification the least academic qualification you need to have before you uh, partake in this uh, dv process is ss certificate if you have the ss certificate you can take uh, you can take part in this uh, dv process but if you don't have <coughs> unfortunately the, the u.s department of state is demanding that you have a two-year work of experience before you can take part in this uh, application process and the last one is your uh, personal information you need to have an email address you need to have an email address uh, also you need to have a phone number but the phone number is not uh, important it's not that important it's optional if you want when you are applying you will add it if you don't uh, if you want you will not uh, add it and you need to add your current residential address you need to know your house address so that you will add it in the application so you need to make sure and be careful when you are writing everything in the application you need to check in uh, the ways so that you write everything correctly to increase your chance of winning uh, sometimes you will make some pity pity mistake that will disqualify your application so when you are applying I always encourage people that they should apply the uh, uh, DV lottery by themselves so that you will be careful about what you are writing. If you go to a cafe for them to apply for you, because they have a lot of customers, they will just be hurried to do the application. They will not uh, be more careful about what they write inside the uh, application. So I encourage you that you do the application by yourself. So, inshallah, without... Uh, me explaining much let us start the application process so brothers the first thing we need to do when we are going to apply the dv 2025 is to go to google and type in www.dv dv program the state of government so this is the official website for the DV lottery so we are going to click this one so the first uh, link that will show on your computer or on your browser that is where we are going to click so let's click uh, uh, electronic diversity visa program department of state let's click this one so this is the official website so if you don't know much about the DV 2020 uh five or the dv lottery uh, they have a lot of stuff here that you can go through so this one is the dv instructions if you want to apply these are the instructions when you click this link 
it will send you to a PDF file so that you learn about the DV2025 before you start the application. So if you don't know much about the application, I encourage you to click this one to read everything about the DV application. So when you click, you will, they will transfer you to this place, DV2025 application. So this one is a PDF file where there are a lot of stuff that you can go through. So you can go through this one and uh, read them before you start your application. So this is the official website. So we are going to start the entering process. We are going to start the entering process. So the, what we are going to do is to click begin entering, begin entry. This is the entering form. So we are going to click begin entry. So now we are going to write in this uh, characters uh, authentication code we are going to write it here we are going to write it you need to write it carefully if not uh, you will not be able to get to the uh, application form you need to write it correctly so here we have uh, six we have a of t of t and eight so after writing it, you are going to click Submit. So we are now uh, in the diversity visa entering form. So this is the form. This is the form that we are going to fill. This is the form that we are going to fill. So the first thing is part one is entrant information. So the entrant information, you are going to write your name your first name, your last name, your middle name. So here you need to be careful. If you are using only two names, if you are using only two names, your name and your father's name, here you are going to write your name. You are going to write your own name and write your father's name here, last name, and click here, no middle name. Because we, the Africans, especially we Ghanaians, we are we are not using three names we normally use two names our names and our father's name we don't include our grandparents name or the family name so when you reach here and you are using only two names you need to be careful so you are going to write your first name here and write your last name here and click this one so and come after that you are going to click number two this is number one number two is your gender you are going to click if you are a male you are going to select here if you are a female you are going to select uh, this one so after that you are going to uh, click your date of birth you need to select your date of birth here here is the month here is the day here is the year so you need to be careful when writing the date of birth so after writing the date of birth here city where you were born so you are going to enter the city where you were born this is very important you need to be careful when you are going to write the city don't come and write Ghana here. They, they want you to write the city itself. So if you are in Ghana and you were born in Tamale, you are going to write Tamale. Don't go and write your, your village name. You are going to write here Tamale. If you were born in Kumasi, you are going to write here Kumasi. That is what they, they mean. So here, country where you were born. So you are going to click here for the countries to appear. So, so you select your country. You select the country where you were born. You select the country where you were born. We are going to select it here. So if you are if you are from Ghana, you are going to select uh, Ghana here. You are going to select Ghana here. If you were born in Tamale, you are going to select Tamale. So after that, you will come here, country of eligibility for the DV program. So there are some countries which are not eligible to to take part in this uh, DV program. So here they will ask you if you are claiming eligibility based on the country where you were born. So if yes, so this one is marked. So most people, the country of eligibility is the country where they were born automatically. That is one day. That is why they just uh, mark yes for you so that you will not be selecting the country again. So after you have selected, that is number six. So number seven is entrant photograph. This is where you are going to upload your uh, passport picture size. This is where you are going to upload your uh, passport uh, picture size. So you are going to click here. So after that, you select the picture that you want. 
you are going to select the picture that you want so after you select the picture you will come here number eight is what number eight is uh, your mailing address your mailing address you are going to write your mailing address so this one is optional so I, you need to write this one this one is very important you are going to write your mailing address here the the, the city or town the district your postal code the country you are going to select the country here uh, the country of residence you are going to select it here we are going to select the country here so country you live today so some maybe you were born in ghana but currently you are not in ghana so you are going to select the country that you live today at the time that you are doing the application where do you live are you living in ghana or not if you are in nigeria at the time of the application where are you if you are in south africa at the time of the application where are you living so if you are a canadian if you are in canada at the time of the application are you in canada while you are applying this is what they mean so you are going to select the country that you live whilst you are doing the application here you are going to write your phone number which is optional if you want you don't want if you want you will not write it so after that you are going to uh, what is your current what is your current or what is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today so as you are doing the application do you have senior high school certificate do you have a university certificate do you have a polytechnic certificate so you are going to throw this one and select the certificate that you have primary school only high school high school no degree high school degree vocational school some university courses so you are going to go through this and see the certificate that you have so after that we are coming to number 13 which is the uh, what is the current marital status so if you are not married we are going to select here if you are married so you are going to select here married and my spouse is not a, a u.s citizen or u.s lawful permanent resident so this is why if you if you use to marry and you are divorced you are going to click here if you are a widow you are going to select here so that's how so after that uh, you come here and write if you have children you are going to select yes i have children and write the number of children that you have so after you have done that what you are going to do is to click continue you are going to click so after you have clicked uh, continue this is the page uh, that you will see and this is a review of what you have just uh, uh, failed the form that you have failed that is the review of it so you are going through of it if there are some mistakes you can go and correct them so the part one and turn information is number one is your name number two is your gender number three is date of birth number four is city where you were born number five is the country where you were born uh, number six is country of eligibility number seven is your photograph the uploading of your photograph number eight is your mailing address you are going to uh, fix in your mailing address that is your current residential address so number nine will be the country where you live today country where you live today number 10 is your phone number which is optional number 11 is your email address and i told you that you should be very careful when you are writing the email address so number 12 is what is the highest level of education you have achieved so that is number 12 number 13 is uh, what is your current uh, marital status if you are married so number 14 that is the last number of children so that is the review of the application so after you you are convinced of what you have written you will come and click submit here click submit mashallah so dv 2025 submission confirmation entry receive success so this is the uh, our confirmation number this will be our confirmation number this is our digital signature this is the entrant name so the day of uh, where they will announce the winners that is the confirmation number we will write in the website 
to see whether you are among the winners or not. So with this, we have finished the application process. And thank you for watching and I wish you best of luck with your DV application. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.